chest case opened me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. It better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I'd better check out this crazy gang of yours. How you doing, kid? Good, sir. Is it true what they say about you? Depends on what they're saying. That you've cracked cases, where there was no evidence. <laughs> you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Uh, right. Jack, Officer Nichols will brief you at the top. Be careful. It's taking him so long. Something must be wrong. I think I saw him with Officer Armstrong. Just take it easy. We're wide open here. It's okay. I've got you covered. I don't like this. Something's not right. Something's not right? Nothing's right about this. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Keep on Don't try anything and nobody will get hurt. Try to stay calm. You better hurry, Jack.
This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. A powerful painting of some cosmic horror. As I continue to translate the necotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. The board has been used to illustrate a diagram. Keep shooting! That's simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Die, you pathetic bastards! Poisoning by the looks of it. He's dead. They're all dead. Suicide. Or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Walt. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. A key. Good come in handy. It's unlocked. Another key. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? That must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've got to think. It's unlocked. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. That's just...
just swell. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum. Where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on.
What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this j Ugh, What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Part of the stop. It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square in Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many contents, but... But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after them alone. Into the line. Could you direct me to the First National Grocery Store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. Chit-chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All we'll habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy, so stop your pestering me with questions. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. 
Can't help you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Please, stop bothering me, stranger. I pulled the brave in an ocean blue And the ship that loves the lies With a good wine piping with a good wind piping early in the tall and gallant smile. Ah, my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave who love a life in the tempest strife. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. Hmm? Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. The two few years it now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Thence from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagging. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. These scratch marks look like they were made by some kind of animal. Strange. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. 
New name spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. For this time? If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty-seven years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can canary! Old Lady Warrens? You live in the town poorhouse? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell y'all. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumoring an anchor in an lip switch. But all they have seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> ah, old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Ovid and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Ovid's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. Was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok. Who did all this? Who did all? Except the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr.
Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. See you without fire. I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. You know, I can just turn around and leave. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. Where's everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours! <laughs> Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work and Mommy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of Mommy and Daddy. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture.
Why Please. <laughs> Looks like a diary. Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I love away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was caught by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with the crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waite's off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. It's unlocked. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break-in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, 
The rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Yes, that's it. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words, Book of Dagon. It's getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would that be the strange fella you brought into Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Stop bothering me, stranger. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That, that sounds just swell. Right there, sir. It's starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie. Can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. Elizabeth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. It's the key to the back office. It's unlocked. I wonder what secrets this book holds.
follow me, sir. I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet folk. I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. Better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm gonna get in this infernal town. city of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will in time. the house. Room 401. Come on, let's have it.
break the door down, you damn fool! Hurry up! Quick! I see them hit! Check the door! Fellow is Nile, but Charlie reckons he was snooping around town asking folks questions about the Burnham boy. <laughs> what does he know? Not much to much, except rumors and stories. It doesn't matter, he'll be killed before sunrise. The orders got plenty of men all over the port tracking him down. He'll not get far. He's not get certain. He's maybe holding himself up in this warehouse somewhere. friend is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willy! Told you it wasn't safe in there. Look, fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah, you're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the Tain are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a Shaggoth, stranger? Just tell me where I can get into the sores. Alright. You've been warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. He died recently. The body's still warm.
I'm not so sure this was one of my better ideas. Dirty looking metal bar. Oh, no, I'm gonna lie. Bring him down. Hello? No, wait! What the hell is all this stuff? Stop! Don't let him get away! 
way! Where did he go? Jack! You're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The Order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the Order wouldn't stand to- Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The Order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But... Mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We'd better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He, he called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No, but he gave me this. I think it'll help. Now! The church is this way! Follow me! God help us! We'll have to make a run for it! Follow me, Jack! Calling to me! We'll be protected inside! Follow me, Jack!
Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. Crowbar. That could come in handy. Back here would be a great hiding spot. The door is bolted shut. Who's there? I can hear you. Private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the places would I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah. Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Martin's mom are all over this alley like a rash. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy. Much more than usual. <laughs> I see your eyes at the window. Hiding in the blackness. <laughs> There appears to be somebody asleep on the bed. Henry. Henry. The no. See if they look at him. Something outside must have set him crazy. Stolen a shotgun at last. He's over there. It won't budge. Take him. It won't budge. Find you, Jack, and the order shows no mercy. I can hear them, hear them in the walls. Rats, rats in the walls. Come here. 
The keys to the cells. Now I can free Brian. I'm not going anywhere till I know I can trust you. Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. Oh, damn. I've been so foolish. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Please, hurry and get this door open. It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear of town. Should be able to? If we can just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. Quickly, we have to get away from the jail. It's unlocked. It's Thomas Waits. Ramona's death must have driven him to cutting his own throat. This doll. It must what are we be Ramona's. Still doing here? Police whistle. Hmm. Could prove useful. The grate's too heavy to lift with my bare hands. Nice work, Jack! The garage is at the end of the road, just by the back of the jail. There's something wrong down here. Something very <sighs> wrong. This place has given me the creeps. The rotting corpse of a rat. I suppose it might come in useful. Oh, the stench here is sickening. And it smacks of more than just sewage. Bravo, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Mackie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack. There are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. 
I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date, and someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you have a dig around the jailhouse, I'm sure you'll find something. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. The government must have known about Innsmouth for a long time. Why the sudden interest? A few years back, some new hotshot was made head of the FBI. His name's Hoover. He's on a personal mission to wipe crime from this country. He's a good agent. Just don't tell him any jokes. This must be Ruth's brooch. The door is bolted shut. You got anything to restrange on this? Still not done with the car yet, Jack. Here it is. Thanks, Jack. Ruth would have been heartbroken if I'd lost it. I'll be done in just a second. Hold on. I'm finished. Get in the back. I know the way. Jack, I think I saw some ammo in the back of the truck. We'll need it. up there I must have been followed they stormed inside just moments ago there was gunfire outside I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape I'm trapped up here Jack the doors padlocked and this ledge isn't gonna hold for much longer I don't want to die Jack help me keep back 
I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Find him! Spread out. Find him. Look everywhere. Outside. Find him. Spread out. Look everywhere. Get yourself killed! Come on, sweetheart. Brian's meeting us out back. I'll never be able to make it across the rafters. You'll have to get that door open. I can feel it moving! Let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way. Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up. There's a freak out of town not far from here. Just hold on. Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nuthouse. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stomping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind.
Wake him up. Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams.
allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I've packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! Sustain your fire! Take them down! Hold your fire! Cooper, get those damn doors open! Well done, Jack. Wait by me while my men secure the area. Check reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. staring at Jack. He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The power's been cut from the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor.
Stop right there, Marsh. Goodbye, Mr. Walters. We've just about had enough of your meddling and instrument affairs. It was my pleasure to inconvenience you, Marsh. After you've watched your copper friend here die, I'm coming after you! Shoot him! Shoot the screwy bastard! Hurry up, Jack! Quickly, Jack! I'm like the present! I'll take you for that Hurry up, Jack! Full's gratitude, Walters. You'd make a first-rate agent. Too bad you got that stinking attitude. A lousy night of torture can really grate on a man's mood. If your aim was as sharp as your wit, then Marsh wouldn't have gotten away. Your orders were to take him alive, not blow his brains out. That was before the crazy psychopath tried to kill me. Besides, he left his briefcase by the controls. There's probably enough evidence in there to sanction a full-scale raid. So I couldn't care less if you bring him back in small boxes. Just get the bastard! Must activate the vat pump. 
I don't see that improving its mood. It's locked. Gotta get out of here now. I see you made it at last. Seems Marsh managed to give you the slip. Fortunately, we had him picked up as he tried to flee. The Order of Dagon will make you pay for this over. I am Cthulhu. I am Dagon! Get this ugly bastard out of my face, Agent Hopper. Yes, sir. Come on, Marsh. Move it. Hoover, you got to evacuate the building. There's something down there. All in good time. We found a key in Marsh's possession. A key he was most reluctant to give up. It must have been for the elevator panel, giving access to an additional floor at the very foundation of this refinery. All my agents are busy planting explosives to flatten this place to the ground. I want you to find a way down there and check it out. Not a chance. I already told you, there's something down there. I barely got out alive. I made it clear back at the asylum, Mr. Walters. I don't make requests. Okay. But I'll be needing another gun. Fuses are prime. You've got 30 minutes before this place blows. Move!
It's some sort of trapdoor, but there's no handle on this side. It's a secret gold vault. This must be where the marshes hoard their wealth. Ah. Ah, can't pick it up. The gem is firmly locked to the... Found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? It's some sort of shrine. Probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas! This chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, Walters. Let's get out of here before this place blows. smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. The Monutsit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Move out, Marines! Secure the area! Yes, sir! You heard the man. Move out! Hi! You take one! Parker, you cover our flank! and your weapon's ready!
They're all dead, aren't they? They were trapped. There was nothing anyone could have done. Damn it! I tried to tell them, but the corporal wouldn't listen. They just wanted to slaughter those things. What's your name, soldier? Private Parker. Private Joe Parker. Well, Parker, it looks like you found the old smuggling entrance. The door's frozen over. I already tried to open it, but it's stuck fast. We'll have to melt the ice. You operate the flamethrower. I'll cover the door. Looks like I'm on my own again. Jack? Is that you? Maggie, where do they keep the keys to the cells? I don't know for sure. Probably somewhere up in the main hall. What the blazes is going on? A few hours ago, the government sanctioned a full-scale operation into Innsmouth. It seems you were right about the contagion. I knew it. Why the delayed assault on the order? We have to arrest Robert Marsh now. They can't breach the doors. Anyone who gets close is driven mad. The guards were discussing some mural that Robert Marsh had etched onto the main doors. They said it was powered by a sacred ceremony to the old ones. Whatever the hell that means. We have to stop that ceremony. Sit tight, Mackie. I'll be right back. It's a large bronze key. It's unlocked. I better watch my step. This place could be crawling with guards. of the arch is almost alien in construction. The door is bolted shut. It looks like the diary of Robert Marsh.
A large mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. The Book of Dagon is missing a few of the symbols. It's a prayer of some sort, but I can't complete the translation. I won't be able to fully decipher the text without figuring out the missing symbols. It's titled Hail to Dagon, but I can't decipher the rest. The prayer to Dagon reads, Bahuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naimna, Vunaglazai, Vunaglazana, Kulth, I a Raigazengaro, I a Dagon. Hurry up, Jack. You gotta get me out of here. Well done, Jack. Did you find the ceremony? Not exactly. I think it's being held in some underground chamber. A great stone disc is covering the entranceway. I'm gonna need your help to get inside. I'll need a gun. No problem. It didn't take much detective work to figure out who this belongs to. First rate work, Jack. Let's go. Some sort of winch. Okay, Mackie, this is it. You raise the lid and I'll crash the party. Good luck, Jack. Must have been Robert Marsh leading the ceremony. I'd better get after him.
This plinth would have held the tablets of Dagon. Marsh must have taken them with him. I can hear running water. These must be old smuggling tunnels leading out to the harbor. Aboard. Jack, our friends in the FBI have been putting the screws on some of the locals. They're a crazy bunch, but all evidence points to a stronghold somewhere below Devil's Reef. Just 20 minutes ago, we lost contact with the sub that was patrolling those waters. Thank you, Officer Winter. Their last communication was just some gobbled message about an underwater city. We've got to make our way to the reef and find this stronghold. The old smuggling tunnels that lead below the seabed will be our best option. Look, I appreciate you pulling me aboard, but what you're talking about sounds like suicide. Nonsense. Lieutenant, let's plan the landing in my office. It's a good job we spotted you. The waters around these parts are no place for swimming. How's it looking up there? I don't know. How are you holding up, Henson? Listen, Jack. I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of screwy shit. But there ain't nothing that's ever been standing once this baby. What the hell was that? Johnson! Wait! Get away from the side! Help me guard the entrance. We gotta stop. Where'd they go? Come back, you fish faced bastards! <sighs> that was a close call. Well done, Henson. Most of the crew are dead, Jack. Why the retreat? I don't get it either. He looks exhausted. I should leave him alone. like there's some sort of witchcraft happening on the reef. Jack, try using the cannon scope to get a better look.
Officer Winter! Take it easy, Thank Thompson. Your life, now sir. tell me slowly. There's hardly What's any the of situation? the crew left, and, and it looks like some of those things managed to get below deck. Have you seen Captain Hurst? He's gone delirious, sir. Locked himself in his quarters. He won't answer the door to no one. With respect, sir, he's off his nut. Ugh. We need him to open the armory. Get inside! Run! Shut the door! Damn! I'm almost out of bullets. Gotta get below deck. Head for the armory. Miss hole's locked, sir! Last hand to the Jack, you keep back and look after Officer Winter. I'll make sure the armory's clear. This Move way! It. Shut the door behind you! Hurry up! We're gonna make it! Hold the damn door, Jack! We're gonna die! It's locked! I got the keys! Run! Hurry up! We're gonna make it! Shut the door! We need to keep moving! That door won't hold forever. We gotta keep moving. The armory's not far. It's just through the main engine room. Wait! I'm sorry, sir. I th thought you were one of those things. No one got hurt. Just calm down. He won't last much longer. This way! The captain's room's through here. The door is bolted shut. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of Captain death, Hurst, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, it's all right they now, comfort Captain. me. Everything's Thou under control. The table before We're just me checking the through the ship. Of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness Captain and Hurst, mercy open shall the door. follow me all the days of my life. Captain Hurst, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Damn it! We need that armory key. We've got to find another way in. Oh, oh! You go! I'll stay and look after him! The door is bolted shut. At last, it's the key to the armory. It's unlocked.
sticks of dynamite, always useful. Oh shit! How the hell did you get in here? A small vent, a few sticks of dynamite, and a minor explosion. You idiot! Sealing the exits is the only way we've kept those damn things out! What the hell? Switch to auxiliary power. Oh, man, there must be an engine fault. Just great. We're sitting real pretty now. You'd better go and sort it out. Lay off. Have you been hitting the pipe? You're the engineer. You sort it out. I know nothing from nothing about ship engines. No way in hell! Those bloody things are everywhere! I already tried to get the welding kit from the cargo hold. We got jumped! Jesus, it was so fast! Only me and Paul got out alive! We had to lock Barry down there with it. Take these keys. With the welding kit, at least we could seal these doors, you know, give ourselves a bit more time. It's unlocked. Thank goodness you're back! Gimme that! We've gotta seal the doors! There've been noises at the other entrance! They're trying to break in! Damn it! Do something!
slow moved on land, we would track them by the strange footprints they left in their wake, consisting of five circular toe marks. They were blind, yet had exceptional sensitivity to both motion and sound. In battle, these creatures could harness the power of the winds with terrifying precision. It wasn't until the great energy weapon was developed that we had the means to fight their evil. Then we were able to drive them down, deep into the catacombs beneath their basalt towers, sealing all routes with impenetrable trap doors. Must be a warning. I better watch my step. The winds here are fierce, and there isn't much shelter ahead. I need to be careful. This is how the population was infected with the Innsmouth taint. 
It depicts the fishmen breeding with humans. This would have happened to those in Innsmouth that took the third oath of Dagon. There is a disc missing from the engraving. This lever is the only object in the hoard of treasures not constructed from gold. There's heavy gusts of air coming from the hole. Shut down that barrier. So soon. Never mind that. Where the hell is Robert? Your brother's been leading the children in prayer with mother. We don't have time for this religious nonsense. There are troops packing the streets, and the border's been completely overrun. It won't be too long before they find out about this place. I've made certain the temple's well protected. There's plenty of men patrolling the main hallway in prison. Good. The barrier has got to hold. Keep on your guard. Check the entrance from the reef. I'm going to the lab. I'd better keep my head down. I've got a much better chance of survival if they don't know I'm here.
It's written in some kind of ancient language. an invitation to our little party. Just check the guest list. I'm under the section for fellas that ain't ugly freaks. Throw our jester friend here in with the lab rats. I'll deal with him on a more intimate level later. Improve the security levels. Check the area. Make sure he's low. <clears throat> Just an old chisel. Excellent. Dismissed. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? We're in the middle of an invasion, and you've got our order singing hymns! You're a fool, Sebastian. I command the order of Dagon, not you. The research must be protected at all costs! I've shut the lab down, Sebastian. What? This is madness! Can't you see how far this has come? Your trivial experiments are of no concern to me. All energies must be directed at completing the translation of the tablets. The work of my great-grandfather must be finished. Take your worthless body back to shore. You are of no further use to the Order. That's not going to happen! Robert!
gets unlocked. your help. I have to get into the temple. Only those loyal to the order have access through the main doors. But there's an old passage. A passage that runs deep beneath the temple. Though I warn you now, outsider, tread cautiously. Uh, I've heard talk of ancient dwellers <coughs> play in those dark depths. <coughs> Any evil from a forgotten time. This just keeps getting better. So how do I get down there? Explore the abandoned areas. <coughs> that is all I can tell you. <coughs> now, please, kill me and my pain. Kill me! No way I'm trying that again. Hammer could come in useful. That should do the trick.
written in some kind of ancient language. These are the tablets of Dagon. This must be the original source text for Ovid's translation, the Book of Dagon. I can now read some of the last passages. I'll write them down. Kugnath, Fanu Naemna, Bagliz Kafungin, Kathavahel, Kulth Kathulu Kafungni, Ia Rigazengaro, Ia Hydra.
by Gazendolo, I uh, Hydra. Jack! How the... Oh my god! Is he okay? What the hell happened to him? Check his pulse. Jack! Can you hear me? Jack! This is the end. Where am I supposed to go? It's time for you to go back. Back? Yes, back to your place. Before you leave, there is something more you need to know. What is this place? The human mind is too delicate a fabric for the return displacement. Easily tear. Your memories of Nakotas must be clean. Will I remember nothing of this place? Six years of my life, and for nothing? When the time comes, we will remember. We will be waiting in the shadows of your dreams. These riddles make no sense. What was it I needed to know? Ever wonder about your visions? Nightmares. It came with the territory. Sometimes it helped with the cases. Bad dreams are never that accurate. You are different from the rest of your race, Jack. 
Your father could see it. Suicide was his escape from the truth. What's this got to do with him? He has been here too. He was displaced. Just moments before you were conceived. I was the transferred mind. What are you saying? That you were my father? Not entirely. You are not of our kind. But neither are you completely human. Mr. Walters? Mr. Walters! Can you hear me? Mr. Walters? He's convulsing. We're losing him. 